Right, um, UFC recap video. Now, I didn't watch any of this live um, because I didn't have the um, the Sky Obscure Sky Channel that they put it on in this country, um, and I wasn't really prepared to get up early in the morning to try out uh, their website um, when I wasn't sure that it would um, accommodate uh, the massive number of people trying to get on it. Um, nor, in fact, was I actually sure that I had uh, what I needed on my computer to run it. So, uh, there we are. Um, Matt Grice versus Shannon Gokhati. Now, um, I heard that, yes, um, Gokhati won. Um, Matt Grice is actually extremely upset about this, um, so I've read uh, online. Um, you know, I think it was a, yes, it was a guillotine in the first. So, he is very upset about that, so, you know. Um, can't remember who I picked on that, to be honest. Uh, C.B. Dalloway and Tom Lawler again um, in the uh, in the first um, and again uh, by uh, Guillotine. Um, Lawler wins. Was a bit surprised at that because I, I chose C.B. Dalloway but um, well done to Lawler there. Uh, T.J. Grant lost I believe, yep, to uh, Don Hyun Kim. Went all the way to decision that one. And uh, the result was 30-26, in fact. There we are. Um, John Jones wins uh, against Jake O'Brien. That was at round two. Um, again, with a choke. A sort of modify, modified guillotine, according to this, really. Um, Now, not surprising uh, with this one, uh, Mac Danzig and Jim Miller. It went all the way to decision, um, and I did say that I thought Jim Miller would win. Uh, I didn't see it going to decision. I thought that one of them would actually finish it. Um, it sounds like it was extremely exciting, um, but uh, Miller won, um, well, according to Sherdog, uh, two, the first two rounds, Danzig possibly won the third. So, um, yes, and it looks like it was, like I said, it would all be um, a, a matter of who could choke out who first. Uh, it says Danzig tries for a guillotine in the first. Um, uh, twice. And I think uh, there's a Kimura in the second. And then another guillotine attempt and another one. And then in the third. So yes, yeah, so so basically it was all about a submission at first. But they couldn't actually manage to pull it off. Um, well done to Jim Miller there though, uh, winning by decision. Uh, Mark Coleman and Stefan Bonner. I did say that I wish they would just let Stefan Bonner lie. Maybe they will now because... Coleman won it by uh, decision. Um, so there we are. I think the UFC feel like they owe uh, a debt to both of those two people, really. Co uh, Mark Coleman, because he was quite an early great, and, and Stephen Bonner, because of um, he was sort of an early pioneer in tough. Um, but he, he's nev they've never really quite made it, um, Stephen Bonner, certainly, and Mark Coleman's a little bit... Um, well, he belongs to a different generation. Uh, Yoshihiro Akiyama and Alan Belker now. Apparently this was a split decision. Um, two for Akiyama. Um, and I don't think this was... Um, I don't think this was a political decision. But I do think that there was some controversy over it. I think a lot of people felt that Belker should have won that one and didn't. Um... I'm only going on what I've read here with that. I haven't actually watched this fight myself. Sounds like, from the uh, reports, it was pretty good. Um, but they thought that Belka should have won. Um, I'm not sure that... It's not something that uh, Sherdog believe here with their write-ups. And it's not something 
um, that uh, many of the judges think. The highlight of the night, and I have seen this um, now, <laughs> um, for almost everybody, uh, was Dan Henderson beating Michael Bisping. Now, he's been... Um, Tough has not been kind uh, to Michael Bisping, it has to be said. Um, I think a lot of people had problems with his mannerisms before. Um, you know, he, he does speak a lot of smack. He's particularly rude. Um, people didn't like him when he won the uh, political decision against Matt Hamill. Um, and uh, people just knew he was sort of outclassed out, uh, here. Um, I, th I don't think people thought it would be quite as good as this. Um, he got knocked out, and I do mean knocked out, as in, um, think, uh, well, the, the Nate Quarry and Rich Franklin sort of knocked out. I mean, he was absolutely out um, for quite some time. So um, that was in the second that that happened. Um, so, uh, you know... Sherdog has given the first round to Henderson as well. I think I would probably agree with that. Um, so, yes. So, people are not disappointed by that at all. Um, the other major ma uh, uh, bout of the uh, night was George St. Pierre versus Thiago Alves. Now, uh, neither of which I um, particularly like. Um, you know, the only reason I would really want Thiago Alves to win would be to get rid of George St. Pierre, but of course, neither of them are... I don't like particularly either of them. Um, unbelievably, it went a full five rounds, and uh, Pierre won. So, uh, I heard it was... I heard it was a little bit of um, a lay and pray fest at times. I think probably towards the end. Um, but of course it wasn't by any means boring I've seen bits of it, I've not seen the whole thing um, so I don't think there's any criticism really of either either player um, out of there, I think that was a pretty pretty good match no he didn't manage to finish Thiago Alves, that is true um, but he didn't lose and it wasn't a particularly boring fight unless you're going to be overly critical of him I fear uh, I I do think that the UFC didn't quite take as much notice of that match as they possibly would have had there not been a heavyweight bout on the card later and also I think they actually deserved um, a little bit more um, sort of promotion uh, Joyce St. Pierre and Thiago Alves were both very very big and very very deserving um, of main card status here on this card, and, and possibly more deserving, I think, than Mia and, and Lesnar, who only seem to have got the spotlight because Lesnar's former WWE, um, Mia is a former uh, title holder in that division, and they're both heavyweights. The, the UFC still haven't learnt that people are actually quite um, interested in the smaller um, fighters, the lighter fighters, and they are still pushing the really, really big fighters um, the really heavyweights as being their sort of pride and joy and the heavyweight division never has been and I did say that I thought that um, it was a bad idea to fast track uh, Brock Lesnar I did say that I think he, I thought he would win um, uh, but I didn't really think much to him and he won um, in the second uh, by TKO um, but of course then he was incredibly rude um, completely un- uh, um, unclassy uh, to the extent where he was sort of forced we believe to apologise in the uh, post fight press conference um, by uh, Dana White and and you know it, it, no <sighs> well and then finally of course Fitch um, won uh, by decision I think yeah well well done to him after the main round, when everybody had finished and gone home, so nobody could see him. I knew there would be some reason that he would be on there, um, and it would be to his detriment as well. <laughs> they don't like John Fitch, I don't know why. I think he's fantastic, but they don't like him. So, still, he won, so well done to him, and that's my review.